And we're going to dive deeper into Thursday night football. The Steelers on a bit of a win streak here. That was their fifth win uh, in a row. Do you think that they proved that they should be the top of the AFC? They are definitely, I think, the most complete team in the AFC. Tom Brady, though, is still Tom Brady, so you have that kind of variable X factor for the New England Patriots. But when you look at the Steelers, the offensive weapons, Antonio Brown, Juju Smith-Schuster emerging, Le'Veon Bell, maybe the best trio in the AFC. And their defense is, I'll give the Patriots credit, Weeks one through four, they had the worst defense in the NFL. It was garbage. It's gotten better the last few weeks. It's actually been very good above average the last few weeks. But the Steelers, for the bulk of their season, for majority of these 10 games they've now played, they've had a defense that's ranked inside the top five, top 10 in most categories. They're great against the run. We saw them pick off Marcus Mariota four times. They can get after the quarterback with the emergence of TJ Watt, five sacks of Mariota. So I think they're the more complete team. However, the big difference between the way Ben Roethlisberger is playing as good as he threw the ball tonight and the way Tom Brady's still playing at age 40. Yeah, I, I still think the equity built up over the last fair. almost two decades. Uh, I'm going to side with Bill and Tom, but I think the gap is close. And I actually, I know I, I'm a bigger belief in the Chiefs than you are. Yeah. Um, I, I think those three teams are teams I can envision marching their way to a Super Bowl from the AFC. Everyone else, I got to see more from them, and I just don't buy – that they're Super Bowl contenders, but I do feel like the Steelers are Super Bowl contenders. That's the funny part for me is their offense has so many big headline-grabbing names, names that are littered up and down every fantasy football roster, names that have won Super Bowls, names that are some of the highest-priced players in the game that we've sort of just pushed aside how good this defense has been because it's either Big Ben throwing five picks and what's wrong with the <laughs> offense and Big Ben saying, I'm done, I'm done, maybe that's it for me. Or them hitting seamless rhythm and playing beautiful, yep. like, you know, magisterial football where all of a sudden, man, this offense, can it be stopped? Look at Le'Veon Bell, toting to 35 times. Antonio Brown's the best receiver in football. They've got this guy. They've got Juju. They've got all, this other, all these other weapons. We sort of just forget how consistently young, uh, aggressive, ball hawking, and good this defense is. And that is why I take them seriously as a real Super Bowl team. And I think depending on where that would game yeah. would be in Gillette or at Heinz Field, I think this really is a toss-up between these two veteran-laden teams that we've come to well, trust. B Big Ben did turn things around. He's had a very lackluster season this True. year. He threw two touchdowns for the first time this season tonight. Do you think that we're starting to get flashes of the old Big Ben? I think this is the reality of the current Big Ben. I think he'll have these games every so often, every so sporadically, where he throws for 300 yards and four touchdowns. Yeah, they but pack the box, try to stop Le'Veon. All exactly. of a sudden, get something opened up on the outside. But if he's going up against defenses like the Jacksonville Jaguars, who have the best pass defense in the entire NFL, if he gets a you know, two weeks for Bill Belichick and Matt, pa Matt Patricia to try and game plan on yeah. how to stop him, then I think... Big Ben is not someone who, like Tom Brady, on his own can win you games. Like Aaron Rodgers, on his own can win you games. I'll go far as to say this. I do think the Steelers are the best team in the AFC, but I do not think they have the best quarterback by a mile. I think that's still Tom Brady, and that can be a great X factor. So Big Ben at this point, he's not what he once was. He's still good enough in moments to get the job done, but he needs more help maybe than four or five years ago when he was capable of being that guy getting you to the Super Bowl on his own accord. Yeah, we're hearing this right out of the right from the organization themselves. We're hearing new kind of monikers for Big Ben. Smart Ben or Ben the point guard who's kind of, you yeah. know, slinging it around and, and he's not the premier superstar guy that's that, 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 that's catching all the headlines. He's more the facilitator for the unbelievable dynamic players they have on offense like Bell, like Brown, uh, like Smith-Schuster. So, because of all that, I do think his role has changed. I don't mm -hmm. view him as the same type of player I did eight years ago. For you, if you are genuinely to believe that the Steelers are the best team in the AFC, and yet there is a gap between Ben and Tom, right. where is it? What gives you that belief? Uh, what other facets of these two teams make you think that even though they, they trail the, the yeah. uh, Patriots from a quarterback position, which is also important, where are they so much better that they're a better overall team? I believe when you look at Le'Veon, Juju Smith-Schuster, and Antonio Brown, as good as Rob Gronkowski is, as good as some of those weapons that Tom Brady has, I will take those. Tom Brady would 
the numbers he would put up with that group are yeah. astronomical. And yeah. I do think that defense, like I was yeah. saying, over the course of the entire season, Pittsburgh's defense has been top five, top ten in both the pass game and the run game. They are much better on that side of the ball than the Patriots. I will give the Patriots credit for turning things around on that side. They started off so horribly it couldn't get any worse. It has gotten better. But when I look at the talent that you line up on both sides, on both rosters, I think the Steelers are more talented. Yeah. More talented except for at one position. Yeah. And that's at the quarterback spot where Tom Brady kind of is still important. one of the best in the business. Kind of <laughs> Weapons and defense is where you, you prefer Absolutely. And saying all that about Big Ben, he's not what he once was. He's still good enough to win a Super Bowl. This team is good enough to win the Super Bowl. Big Ben can be the point guard. He can be the smart Ben. And as long as that defense plays to its capabilities like we've seen, as long as Antonio Le'Veon do their thing and helping Big Ben out, this is definitely a team that's one of the best in the entire NFL and good enough to win. It's a chunky point guard. Kind of like a Khalid Al-Amin. Yeah, like yeah. 6'5", 240, Like 250. a Jameer Nelson yeah. kind of point guard. Stretched out Jameer Nelson a little bit. <laughs>